It is time for the highs and lows of the week. Our first low goes to the broadcast rule that prevented one local Michigan station from showing highlights of its home state Wolverines winning the college football national championship on Monday night. Jim Harbaugh's team defeated Washington 34 to 13 to bring home the school's first national title since 1997. The game ended just as local news was starting with stations across the state anxious to let their viewers bask in the highlights. But the national National broadcast of the game and celebration still was on the air, so the locals could not yet show the video. Sports director Sam Ali of our affiliate Mid Michigan Now was prepared for just such an emergency with some help from Microsoft Paint. It was a big one for Michigan. Donovan Edwards came into tonight with just one TD, busted out a 41 yard score to give the Wolverines the first points of the game. And he wasn't done. Still in the first. The defense just had no answer for Edwards, who scored again. For this, the Michigan football Look at the team. frowns on the faces of the Washington players. Just a great job there by Sam narrating the highlights under his drawings that respectfully might not make the cut for the refrigerator if your child brought them home from school. But a great effort nevertheless to get something, anything on the air for the big night in Michigan. And we keep it in the state of Michigan for our next high, which goes to a precocious three-year-old boy named Augie. Augie and his dad, Thomas, hit up a local store where dad told Augie he could pick out a toy that fit in his hand. Naturally, the toddler hero of our story went straight for the large Fisher Price DJ table. How big is your hand? What? No, that you can carry it, but I said you can get a toy that fits in your hand. Can you hold it with one hand? After Dad clarified the rules, Augie maneuvered the toy around, set it down to adjust his hands, struggled a bit, but ultimately proving here, he could in fact fit the large Fisher-Price DJ table in just one hand. There you go. The video now has nearly 100 million views on Instagram. Fisher-Price went on the record saying of Augie, he's not wrong. By the way, Dad tells us in typical three-year-old fashion, Augie protested briefly before losing interest in the DJ table and picking out a fire truck instead. Our final low goes to the humiliation of hitting a golf shot so bad that it can be recovered only by a burrowing rodent. This was the scene at a course in San Diego where a golfer was searching for his ball after spraying it errantly. He couldn't find it, but this gopher did. Looking for this. Yeah, the shot went right into a gopher hole, but this furry fellow was kind enough to return the ball for a drop and a one-stroke penalty, we assume. As the moment went viral online this week, the internet was reminded of the epic battle between groundskeeper Carl Spackler and the gophers infesting Bushwood Country Club in Caddyshack. I think it's about time that somebody teach these varmints a little lesson about morality and about what it's like to be a decent, upstanding member of a society. Come to Carl, Vermin. Come to Carl. Ah! <sighs> Carl eventually won that battle, but at an explosive cost to the golf course at Bushwood. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.